We're now going to assemble the left hand X support and the X motor mount. So take one of the X support pieces, one of the stepper motors and bag 3 which has all of the mounting hardware. This is the X motor support plate and you'll notice that the four motor mounting holes are countersunk. These go to the underside. Place the motor mounting plate on top of the X support and secure it using the 12mm long M3 screws plus washers. Use the Posi Drive number one screwdriver to tighten them. Next, take the stepper motor and place it on top of the motor mounting plate so that the connector is towards the rear. This cutout in the motor mounting plate here is towards the front. Turn the assembly over and secure the motor using the four short countersunk M3 screws. And again using the PosiDrive number one screwdriver to tighten them. Again be careful when tightening because there is only around 3mm of thread depth in the motor face and if you over tighten you may strip the threads but just tighten them enough to hold the motor securely. From bag number 12 which has various tools in it take out the smaller of the two allen keys that's the 2mm one and insert the grub screws a few turns into the X support. Don't put them fully in, that will come later. These will be used to clamp the X rails later when we assemble the whole thing. Now using the two M4 countersunk screws attach the complete support assembly to the base. Use the PosiDrive number 2 screwdriver to tighten these. And there we're finished.